How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to do a, a brief review on the uh, Pandora app for the Kindle Fire. Um, it's a really beautiful interface, really simple. Just want to show it to you real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, open up Pandora. Now, for you, you'd find it in apps and uh, you'd have to download it. Um, pretty much open it up. Now um, it will take you right to uh, your station. So if you have, a, if you already had a Pandora account, your stations will sync right up with it. So that's really cool. Um, uh, let's go ahead and go to one of my stations. I have Carl Thomas. Um, real quick upload time, um, only a couple seconds, and usually it'll jump right into a song for you. Here's the buffer right now. So there we have it. I don't want to skip that song. I'm gonna go ahead and just click on the arrow at the bottom, and um, cause I never heard of that song. I like to hear songs that normally I know. There we go. Little TB Tony Braxton. Let me go ahead and turn the volume down. Let's have that just play in the background, kind of low. So. We have our information button at the upper right right here. When we click on this, we can get the information about uh, the artist, which is Toni Braxton, how she got started. A lot of information on her. And then we can click on the song and actually get some background on um, when the song was recorded or you know any little tidbits that uh, the artist put about the song. So then we'll click here to go back. And so at the bottom, we have a couple of things here. We have our uh, menu list. This will actually take us back to the stations you already have uh, created. Uh, we have our thumbs up, thumbs down, so you can say if you like the song or not. And I think what Pandora does is uh, it takes your feedback. So if it's a song you don't like, it will try not to play when you are, have that station open. And if you have this thumbs up, and it will keep playing it for you. Then we have our, our next arrow, which basically takes you to the next track. If you want to skip the song, now remember if you have the free account, you want to get uh, I think five or six skips, and then you have to uh, just listen for that hour. So uh, I usually have a lot of stations bookmarked so that I never get stuck. At the bottom here, we have our menu icon. Click on that, and uh, if you like the song, you can actually click on buy, and it will take you right where you can purchase the song. In fact, let's do that right now real quick to see what it comes up. You can actually buy the song or buy the whole album. That's pretty awesome. So, man, if, you, if you're loving it, go, go for it. Um, what else do we have here? You can share the song. So, um, it actually uh, jumps right to your contacts. So, if you have someone in your contacts, you can... Let's see, I have this guy right here. Um... I think I only had his email, but what it'll do is it'll shoot them an email or a text or whatever you have. I believe it's just email, but it'll share like, hey, I'm listening to this song on Pandora. Maybe if it's somebody you want to know or whatever. I never really use that feature, but, you know, you might. So um, what else do we have here? We have our preferences, which are uh, you can actually set it so that when the Kindle goes to sleep, it'll continue to play music through Pandora. Okay. Opposed to if you turn it off. If you hit no or off, then as soon as the the Kindle uh, goes to sleep, then it'll automatically uh, shut down Pandora. So I think it's cool you can keep it open. Um, here's the sign out. So if you want to log into a different Pandora account, you do it right here. We have Bluetooth for automotive. So if you have a car that uh, accepts Bluetooth and Pandora, then this should work. As far as I know, Pandora doesn't have like a, a regular Bluetooth, so you can't sync most Bluetooth devices, but I guess this is an exception. For automotive devices let's go ahead and go back and um, let's go to our list here or our, our uh, stations we've already created and so what's cool is uh, when we click on the menu in this section you can actually sort your stations by uh, the day you created them you can sort them uh, from A to Z um, so that's kind of cool I don't not, not I use Pandora many on my iPhone but I don't remember it having a functionality like that, so hey, I like that. It's a plus. Uh, we can hit now playing to go right to the song that we're listening to. And then um, we have some more preferences. Nope, those are the same. So let's go back here. And then if you want to make a new station, we can go ahead and hit create. And then we can type in an artist. Let's see, Al 
Green Classic Artist. Go ahead and click on our green. And so it'll automatically uh, create a session for him. And it'll switch it and then it'll start playing his music. So again, just another um, cool thing. Most Pandora apps work the same. Not too much different. But uh, what I like about it is just uh, it's a simple interface. You know, you have all the album art and you have some basic control. So this is the Pandora app for uh, the Kindle Fire. Uh, free download and um, free subscription. So I would say, hey, go ahead and download it and uh, enjoy free music streaming on your Kindle Fire. So hope that was helpful. And uh, real quick, just to show you this, if you go home, let's say if you want to move Pandora into your favorite section and your favorites are what are right below the carousel, which is right here. These are your favorites. We can hold down on the application and then the menu comes up and it says add to favorites. And if you see that, it actually will move it down here for you. So now the Kindle will always just be quick access. Um, and it will always be here so you can just pull it up real quick. So there it is. And uh, that's the Pandora app for Kindle Fire. Hope that was helpful. Please leave a comment in the comment section and have a good one.